Hey everyone and welcome back to episode 21 of the Nate Stowe Show. Uh, today I want to talk about when is the best time to start a fitness program. also want to do a movie review of SPED starring John Travolta. I believe it's on Amazon Prime, so if you got Amazon Prime you can watch it for free. And finally I'm taking up golf and haven't played in about four years and just see a ton of parallels between starting something that I'm not so good at, trying to get better and how it can relate to my clients and different lessons I can learn and hopefully make me a better coach and have a little bit more empathy in the future. Uh, so let's start with when is the best time to start a fitness program? And all I can think about is when is the best time to plant a tree? The correct answer is 20 years ago. That's the best time to plant a tree. Second best answer was yesterday and the final answer is today. So when's the best time to start a fitness program? 20 years ago would have been the best time. But if you didn't do that, yesterday would be better. And if you didn't do that, then let's start today. Basically it's never too late and the sooner you get started, the sooner that tree can start growing, the sooner your fitness can start improving. So it's never too late, just get started. Uh, next up, let's review the movie Sped. It stars John Travolta. Um, it's a B minus movie. Overall, the concept is John Travolta is a speed boat, uh, steep speed boat champion racer. And he starts like smuggling drugs or something because he has money issues and it's a way to make extra money, right? Um, overall, the movie's not very good, but I had a lot of unintentional comedy there, just laughing at laughing at uh, Travolta trying to act, and he's got so much plastic surgery that his face doesn't really move, so he's trying to show like fear, concern, happiness, like everything looks exactly the same, uh, because the dude's just had so much plastic surgery, he can't actually act in his face, so uh, B minus movie, uh, it's alright, but overall, if you can just get a kick out of watching Travolta try to act with all the plastic in his face, um, I don't know, it entertained me for a solid 75, 90 minutes, however long it was. And uh, finally, I'm getting into golf. I had not played in about four years. Um, I was playing a little bit. We opened up the training studio four years ago. That got me busier, um, trying, to, trying to bring in some employees. I got to train the employees. I got to be there to monitor to that. I lost a lot of time, it's just kind of around the clock. But I uh, finally started to get my time back and take up some different hobbies. And boy, is it humbling because I am not very good. However, what I'm trying to do is I'm focusing on the process and not the outcome. So I'm not focusing on uh, what my score is. I'm not focusing on um, how beautiful the shot is. I'm just putting in the work. So right now that's 100 putts a day uh, and that's going to the driving range and hitting 100 uh, balls three times a week on the driving range. So that's what I can do is I can incrementally get better at my practice there. I know the results are going to come when I finally go out on the course and I play. I'm going to have a lower score. The shots are going to get prettier and it'll be a whole lot more fun. But up front, I've got to embrace the suck. I've got to do the stuff a lot of people won't do. I gotta go take my 100 putts. I gotta go out, it was 100 degrees today. Uh, it was 100 degrees, went out to the driving range, hit 100 shots with my seven and nine iron. And, uh, and I'm gonna stick to that Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, unless it's like pouring down rain, I will be there. Uh, but I know that in the end, that I'm gonna get better. And same thing with our clients, and we tell them to do the most basic stuff. Uh, you know, we tell them to foam roll, do dead bugs, bridges, it's just real basic stuff. And we're like, hey, do it every day, five or 10 minutes, because if you do it, a couple of weeks down the road, a couple months down the road, you're going to be really good and you're going to be doing a lot of stuff other people are going to be like, hey, how did you do that? And you're going to be like, well, I started with some real basic stuff, right? I did dead bugs, bridges, foam rolling every day, 10 minutes, uh, much like myself. Um, you know, I did 100 putts every single day and I hit 100 balls three times a week and I just did that week in, week out and hopefully by the end of the summer, you know, like it looks like I actually know how to play the game of golf. All right. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. I'll be back on Friday with episode 22.